everyone! We are Dana and Mike, and in 2022, we both left our jobs to travel the world. We moved our entire lives from 2,500 square feet down to about 120 square feet. Now, we live life on the road with our three dogs searching for adventure. Join us every Sunday for new videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Welcome to another episode. We are here at Delta Beach in Manitoba and today's just a chill day because we are doing a lot of driving in the next week. So our goal for this week is to just get to New Brunswick because we want to see the East Coast and at that point we'll start to slow down, chill, we don't need to do that much driving. <laughs> telling Mike yesterday before we went to bed about how cool these lakes are here in Manitoba because I don't know if you can tell you cannot see the end of this lake it is so big yeah <laughs> there are so many bugs on the outside of our trailer this is how many bugs are all over our door probably a million more. Yeah. But at least look at Bentley. Look how like comfortable he is. He just loves being with me. <laughs> uh, just a report on the Starlink. I've actually already taken it down because it doesn't work at all here. This is sort of the tree cover. Like it's all clear that way. But basically all here is covered in trees and the Starlink didn't work at all over the last couple of days that we were here. All right, good morning everyone. We are leaving Delta Beach Campground and our final thoughts are don't go to site 19 and that general little loop there. Yeah, the, bugs, <laughs> the bugs were crazy. They were non-stop and then the bugs were so small that they could go through our screen door and screen windows and stuff like that. Yeah, and the zebra and so, wouldn't do anything. So I was like, okay, I'll just check. So I turned on the lights and all the little bugs were everywhere, all over the inside of the trailer. There's actually someone in the car right now. And uh, yeah, I spent a whole bunch of time trying to like hunt them all down. I probably killed like a hundred of them. It was crazy. But the mayflies at this campsite were really bad. <laughs> they were disgusting. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyways, if you do decide to come here, the beach is beautiful. Yeah. We had lots of fun. It's very shallow and in the morning time, it's like super windy and just no bugs at the beach. So the beach is nice. We are now on the highway headed towards Winnipeg because I'd like to get myself some more matcha. So we're gonna go do that. Maybe we're gonna take this big rig. She's not really that big, she's kind of small. Hopefully she fits in, in Winnipeg. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take her to Winnipeg, find a David's tea. And then after that, we're headed to Grand Beach. Uh, this is where we are camping for two nights. Very chill, just to break up this long drive. We have some pretty crazy days ahead of us just to get to New Brunswick. We'll see. Come along for the ride. You say you don't wanna get in trouble, that you don't find cause you got me. Okay, so far in Manitoba, maybe in Saskatchewan, but Highway 1, in like the town areas, the roads have been like really bad. All right, so we're in Winnipeg and wanting us to get off Highway 1 soon. So this is what the my Winnipeg roads did. Some stuff fell on the floor. Nina just hopped out. She's going to go and look for her tea in the small and then we'll be back on our way. Puppies! I'm off on a solo adventure to find some matcha. Hello. I found it. My calves are burning, but... <laughs> 10 ounces for iced tea, 16 ounces. I have no, no idea. New tundra. That looks nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Really bad here in the campground. Oh, okay. So keep a clean sight. 
You can do whatever you like. Well, welcome to our new little home for the next two nights. Are you ready? Are you ready? Alright everyone, we have made it to our next campsite here in Manitoba. We are at Grand Beach. Three bins full of laundry. One, two, three. And we're hoping to do the bedding. Chores time! Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Oh <laughs> Alright, got the food, got the clothes. All set, now we can relax. And I think today is gonna to be the first time we are true campers. We have firewood, we have burgers, we have s'mores. Mm, I'm so excited. We are making Beyond Meat burgers. These yeah. are great. So many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be happy. Hey. Thank you. I just gotta clean up and then I can come eat. Yeah. Clean up so the bears don't come. Why aren't you a prince being able to sit up on the table? I gave you those two in front there because they have more onions. Oh, well thanks. I like onions. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I love Beyond Meat Burgers. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see how well I can get this fire going. Yeah, first fire of the trip. Ugh. Smoke attack. <laughs> Decided to go on a little walk to see the sunset. Hopefully we make it. area and the sun is almost setting. No, I don't know if Dana I managed to film any, but yeah, there's a bunch of little frogs jumping all over the place. It's cool. <laughs> cool. It is the largest lake in all of Manitoba. It may be the largest lake. He loves doing this. He did this last year in Saskatchewan also. <laughs> oh god. Hey, we're letting them live their best lives. So <laughs> whatever. Anyway, so this is the largest <laughs> lake in Manitoba. Or in Manitoba. We think. <laughs> we think. Yeah. Um, and just like the other lake, like it, it kind of feels like you're at the ocean because you can't see to the other side. It's such a huge lake. These moments are really what it's all about. It's like we're here on this random beach. We're thousands of miles away from home. And we just keep moving forward and getting to see amazing sights like this. I feel really grateful for what we're able to do. And thank you to everybody that's helped in making this possible. Yeah. Okay, so I'm heading out on my own today, picking up Amazon packages for the first time on the road. Uh, apparently you can just get them sent to any post office, so and there's one like 20 minutes away, so I'm gonna go give that a go. Alrighty. Let's go. I'm on my way, little walk down to the beach, go for a quick dip. kind of sucks so I got here to the post office where I sent all of our Amazon packages and it's closed today for some closed for some sort of computer system upgrade until Monday and we're leaving tomorrow and they're not open tomorrow either because it's a weekend so I'm not gonna be able to get our packages that's kind of lame then I'll go back to the campsite I guess and reorder all those Amazon packages to a different post office
use your outdoor privileges, you smush your face into the screen door. Uh, so we are leaving Grand Beach and we're making our way over to Ontario. Long drive day, probably like six hours, six, seven hours or something like that. So, but yeah, nice to be back on the road. Alrighty, so we've just made it to Kenora. This is the first city that we've come across here in Ontario. We're gonna stop here and resupply up. We need dog food, we need a ton of groceries, we need gas, all this stuff. Yeah, the lakes here seem awesome. A lot of people have cottages on these little islands scattered around these lakes. A lot of boating action, it's cool. All right, there goes Dana. She's gonna go get us another run of groceries. And I'm staying here at the trailer because we have a problem with our DC to DC charger. So if you watched our video where I installed our entire lithium solar setup, I installed a DC to DC charger which essentially connects our truck battery to the trailer batteries and charges them while we're driving, but it stopped working uh, over the last couple days. So I'm just gonna take a look-see and see if I can figure it out. So we're here in the battery compartment. You can see the DC to DC charger, the red light is on, which means there is a fault somewhere in the system. So I'm just going to restart it first just to see if maybe it's something simple like that. Okay, got it disconnected. Let's go back. So it's not on right now. Got to disconnect both of these at both ends just to see. Okay, so after I disconnected both the input and output wires and reconnected them, yeah, the red light's gone and I think it's working again. I'm just going to double check the app. All right, yeah, I can hear it powering up now all good. And the app says that it's charging. It used to be at like 80 watts with just the solar on a cloudy day like this. Now it's at over 300, so we're back in business, baby. They had like zero vegetables and like zero meat. Oh, okay. Like, there was very slim pickings here, but I got as much as I can. Cool. All right. That was eight hours of driving at least. Yeah, plus all the stops and stuff. But we're here now at this random pullout uh, somewhere between Kenora and Thunder Bay. <laughs> that was a long day. Yeah. But we're all settled in now and I think we're just gonna call it for tonight because that was just a whole bunch of driving. We just ran a whole bunch of errands. <laughs> That's basically all we did today. Yeah, um, not enough time in the day. Yeah, there's just not enough hours in the day because it just takes so long to do everything because that's trailer time, isn't it? That's anyway, um, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully something more cool happens. I think more cool stuff will happen tomorrow. We're going to go see a waterfall, yeah. hopefully, and I hope there's parking for the trailer, because... we got to take it with us. we got to take it with us. <laughs> okay, catch you guys tomorrow. woke up at our first night here in Ontario just at some little forest service road like right off the highway so not the quietest sleep but I mean we're okay we're used to kind of noise anyways but we've slept we're rested and finally we are going to go see a waterfall you guys know how much we love waterfalls this one is Kakavika Falls provincial park yeah it should be pretty short like it should just be right off the the parking lot area there but yeah we're gonna go check out the second largest waterfall here in Ontario we made it and there is parking for our trailer weather's nice too we have half an hour before the rain comes Kakapika Falls. <laughs> My voice broke. <laughs> this is Kakapika Falls, second largest waterfall in all of Ontario. Yeah. This is pretty cool. All right, well, that was fun. Yeah, that was cool. Now Mike needs to find an oil change place 
lost our first oil change on the road, so we gotta do it with the trailer, hopefully. Yeah, somebody. we need to unhitch it somewhere and hopefully they'll lead us. Mm -hmm. How may I help you? Oh, hi, I'm wondering, uh, I wanted to roll by for an oil change today. Do, do I need to make an appointment? No, you don't need to make an appointment. It's all first come, first serve. Okay, sweet. Um, also, I have like my travel trailer with me. It's like 20 feet. Is there somewhere I could drop it on your lot to do the oil change? You could maybe go like across in the mall parking lot there. You could probably do that. Okay, okay. I'll try that. Okay, I'll come I'm by soon. I'm not too sure. I'll figure it out. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Cheers, bye. Bye. Uh, so, we'll see, I guess. <laughs> We'll have to just go and figure it out. But if there's a mall across the street, I think no one's gonna like tow it from the mall. And if anything, well, I mean, I'll just you just stay there. The you just stay there yeah. and just like tell the mall. You just get an oil change. We'll be right back. Yeah. All right. Let's go do this. Such a weirdo. <laughs> All right. Had to unhitch at this random. I think it's an abandoned mall, actually. Uh, random parking lot so I can go get an oil change. So let's do this. Don't worry, you guys are coming with me. Oh, that'd be awesome. Sure, thanks. No worries. Hey, puppy. Check it out. Long See, you like me now. <laughs> all right, back in the car. I did all of my errands. Oil change, shopper's drug mart, and dog food. And nobody kicked me out. <laughs> yeah, and nobody kicked Dana out while she was just hanging out in this parking lot. <laughs> All right, we're just setting up at the campsite. We haven't unhitched yet because I've thrown the Starlink dish up just to make sure we have good service here because this campsite has no cell service because I looked up the wrong provider yesterday. I thought it did have cell service, but I was looking at a different provider because I'm dumb. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully the Starlink has service. Let's check it out. All right, so a little update on the Starlink. A little disappointed. It still hasn't even connected or even tried to connect according to the app. It just says that it's not even plugged in, which isn't right because it is plugged in. Oh well, that's too bad. All right, since there is no cell service here, I have to quickly drive out, I think it's about 15 minutes out of the campground and there was cell service there. So I'm gonna drive out, get some cell service and make sure our guests have our Zolio number because yeah, there's no cell service. Okay, so I had to drive like way farther than 15 minutes. I'm like basically almost back to the highway. <laughs> So, yeah, anywho, I got it all done and we're gonna be without cell service for the next few days, which I'm okay with as long as, you know, we've covered our butts. Okay, so I've quickly stopped off at the Marie Louise Lake Lookout because when we drove by, there's some really nice mountains and I think those are the cliffs that we are going to be climbing up tomorrow. I should get back before Mike starts freaking out that I'm like dead or something. <laughs> I've been gone so long. You're back. <laughs> I'm sorry that took so long. Okay, so nothing happened. <laughs> she just, yeah, it was I what I thought. I go like way farther. Yeah, yeah. Like I thought we had cell service like 15 minutes away. That's the last time I saw like bars on my phone, but I guess that was nothing. No. It was a really long time. <laughs> and I thought something might have happened. And then I stopped. Or I, I did a little pit stop along the way figuring, you know, what's an extra five more minutes? <laughs> He's already worried. <laughs> Okay, so we're just talking about tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's a big day. We have a big hike tomorrow. 22 like, sure. kilometers. Yeah, 22 kilometers round trip. Top of the giant trail. Right, so okay, yeah, so to kind of back up, we're in Sleeping Giant Provincial Park and the most popular hike here and arguably in the all of Ontario. Yeah. Ontario. That's what the book says, yeah. so it's not just a book. <laughs> so yeah, 22 kilometers round trip. It should take about seven, eight hours-ish all day. So we're just figuring out what supplies we need and because yeah, this will be the biggest one. Like we haven't really had to think too much about supplies and food and stuff until this hike. So yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna fuel up with butter chicken the night before <laughs> and then tomorrow's gonna be awesome. Stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. Can you say good morning, puppies? We are about to do this lovely 22 kilometer trail. So 
Let's gear up. All right, what do we got? We are here. Yeah. We have to do all of this. To here. To here. I think it's, I don't know which point it is, but to the top of the giant trail. All right, here we go. Part. Yeah, now we start the climb. So what, we're like six kilometers in now? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. You can do it! Yeah. There you go. Right, the official top of the giant trail. All uphill from here. It got really hard really fast all yeah. of a sudden. It was so easy up until this moment. Yeah. Now it's like, uh, I'm so glad we're not in the sun. Mm -hmm. How am I looking? Pretty good. I wish I could put my hair in a ponytail. It's still, still too short. <laughs> oh, that's a nice breeze. In the view so far. It's pretty great. We've intermittently been getting cell service. <laughs> Trying to deal with like rental check-ins and stuff like that at our vacation home. So, it's about three hours. And we made it to the first lookout. We've kind of just walked by it because we want to get to the end. We just want to finish it. But three hours so far, getting up. Might take us that whole seven hours that it was saying. Made it to the gorge. This is Ontario's tallest cliffs. So apparently this is arguably the best hike in Ontario. I can clearly see why. So definitely check this place out. We are on the Sibley Peninsula here in Sleeping Giant Provincial Park. All right, it's lunch time. We deserve this. <laughs> oh man, we made it. 22.3, seven hours, 18 minutes. Nice. Well everyone, I think this is gonna be the end of our episode. Thank you so much for joining us on this crazy adventure. Still pushing towards the east coast of Canada. Oh yeah, we still got so much. Thank you guys again for joining us. Stay tuned for what's coming next as we continue along our journey across Canada. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Woot woot! <laughs>